Hello and welcome back to the Fusion Minis. This is episode 33 and we are going to talk about lens flares made with Blackmagic's Fusion. Whew. Go. And here we are back in Fusion. Right now the flow is empty, but I changed that by opening a loader node with this image sequence here. It looks like this and I rename it Sunset. Boom, nice. Now let's add a lens flare, because why not? Mm -hmm. The tool we need is called Hotspot, this here. Click OK and as expected it automatically connects because the loader was selected. Now what we have so far is only this bright spot here. Looking like the sun, but hey, we already have one. Good, let's change some settings to make this look like a real lens flare. Um, I warn you, I will rush a little through this whole process because most of it is pretty self-explanatory. Like this here, the primary strength to simply brighten it up. Hotspot size um, can be changed on the image as well. Um, next up, aspect that stretches out our hotspot and you can change the angle of this aspect. And next up, the secondary section. Yeah, here you can basically create a second spot. Just play around with this a little bit. And underneath that, the apply modes. You can choose between subtract, which looks like this, and multiply. But for my scene, I choose add. All right, next, occlude. Okay, to make this work, we need to connect our footage into the occlude input of the node. And then I choose blue here to only select the blue channel. And when I now move my lens flare, you can see that um, the hotspot node is reacting to the luminance in the blue channel. But because I don't want that right now, I unplug it and move on. Um, lens aberration. Just play around with it and you'll see. Color. Um, course we can change the color of this whole thing. I want mine to look a little bit green, yellow, yellowish maybe. Something like this. It's fine for now, yes. Our next step is called radial. You have to turn radial on right here and then you can change the shape of your hotspot um, to make it look like a star or something. Um, I don't want that and I don't really like it to be honest. Okay, L123. Now this is where the magic happens. You can turn on lens, reflect one, two and three and you can define a shape of some kind um, and then refine it with the sliders, give it a different color, something like that. And all that just because we need to simulate the different glass elements of a real lens. Um, yes, and that's why lens flares look so cool. Like this, you see? And I can add a second layer. Uh, oh, no circle and yeah then I play around with it until I am happy not so opaque and smaller like this mm -hmm. change the color of course nice and of course everything here can be animated and if you're not happy with only this one hotspot note then the second one, simple like that. Yeah, 
Um, if you already own optical fares, then you're probably like a... So what? You're right. Um, it's not as powerful as something like optical flares, but it's for free. Never forget that. It's for free. And it's looking not too shabby. I really hope you liked this episode. Thank you very, 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 very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.